Hey, this is Bug Padder Dust. Thank you for joining me for my Rimworld Rich Explorer playthrough, episode 89. Well, with any luck, this episode I might be able to speed things up and you not have to watch me play real time. I know it's been interesting for a couple of you, probably just a couple, uh, but I might be able to just kind of skip things forward a little bit. Now, everyone is mostly happy. <laughs> Reese is. <laughs> Reese is chuffed to bits. He's green across the board, but Reese is still wearing recon armor, and yeah, he's cold. So I'm going to get him to put on this masterwork blue blue fur parka here, which is going to be extremely awesome. Um, yeah, all right, Reese, get on with it. You're going to get in that, and you'll be toasty and warm. Meanwhile, Vienna seems to be standing in the doorway here, letting all, all the heat out, despite the fact everyone's yelling at her. It's a bit annoying. Stop it, Vienna. Um. I'm intrigued as to whether these solar pinholes do warm things up. I'm told that they do. I guess they must do. Because it's minus 27 in here, for, and it's... Okay, they're inside. They're getting maybe some heat from here. But these must be making some sort of difference, I'd have thought. Anyway. So, um, yeah, here we go. I'm going to press play. So, Viana's got out of the doorway. Honestly, Viana, really. Um, yeah, so that's looking good. We're finishing the, the main kind of room here. I'm going to extend this. I just want to do something small just to get warmth. And then we're going to move probably the hospital up to here. Um, just for the sake of that. And yeah, poor old survivor. Sorry, mate. It's pretty poor, isn't it? Yeah, and then we're uh, we're good to go. Reese is, Reese is now in the toasty parker. <laughs> minus 54. I laugh at your minus 47 degree centigrade. So he's, he's better. He's going to start building. We are going to skip on forward, so if anything horrible happens, I'll obviously drop back in. Um, otherwise, uh, we are going to skip forward and hopefully we sh should start making some uh, some faster progress. And we are back in the room, and it's looking a lot better. We've got uh, a nice kind of structure built. We have to move all our stuff into storage because the decay rate out here is absolutely astonishing. Um, it's actually a balmy, only minus 26 right now. <laughs> we come to spring. Woo! So we've got uh, we've got a lounge set up. We've got a couple of um, uh, nice sculptures here. All the yaks have been unloaded, and now they're slowly starving. Um, we've got uh, the room is very impressive barracks. This is still cooler because we're trying to stop the simple meals from just completely rotting away. Um, one thing I need to do actually is assign them to eat simple meals as a preference. Let me just do that. Mm, simple meals rather than eating packaged survival meals, which I don't think. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So eat the simple meals as a preference rather than as the rule. We've actually got uh, a visitor. <laughs> We've got uh, a shaman merchant. It's, it's interesting. I mean, I'm very interested to see what they want to buy from us. Um, but we've got armour and whatnot, so that could be quite good. So let's go and have a quick trade with, uh, with the people who've made, made well, they've come a very long way. They must be, they must be getting cold. Well, maybe not. Actually, maybe not. That's one of my guys. Uh, what have they got on? This guy's minus 33, minus, minus 62. Gosh, wow. Minus 33. No, they're, they're suitably well equipped. This guy's wearing a natty pink cloth jacket. Minus 26. He's got to be getting a little bit cold. Anyway, anyway. So let's see what... Uh, do you know, selling my yaks might not be such a bad idea. Well, let's see what they've got. What do I need? Probably... Um, oh, we had some insect jelly drop in a, in a cargo pod. So that was uh, very nice. Pack five mils. Okay. What have they got they could sell us? Herbal medicine. Psychite tea. Definitely. Um, Plasteel. We're really going to be using that. Probably not. So I'm going to give them... Huh. What have I bought from them? Psychite tea. That's quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah, let's offset that. Uh, Sooth pulse of drill arm, bionic leg. Mm. Shock lance. Insanity lance. I think we're going to use those. They will come in useful, I think. Let's get rid of the gold. I could sell them a couple of yaks to offset. 1,001. Oh, we've got plenty of cash. I will get rid of one yak, though, because we've got a few others that are growing up. So we've got five young'uns. We'll get rid of them, can't we? 180 minus 187. That's fine. I'm good with that. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Let's, uh... Oh, we're having psychotic tea straight away. Yeah, why not? Everyone get happy, can't they? Psychotic tea's on the menu, boys. <laughs> Everyone's just going for it. Oh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Awesome. All right, good. So, uh, yeah, we set up here. We've got stone table, stone cutting table going here, and I need to do a chair. We are so short of wood, though. 40 wood. We've even got TV going. Radio eye sheet. Sorry, uh, not radio eye sheet. Eye sheet TV. Yeah, not a lot going on, if I'm being honest. I've got a couple of turrets up as well that we brought with us, only there just because I need to kind of fine tune it a little bit. Hospital here. We're going to start bringing people out of um, Cryptosleep now. 
because this is all toasty. It's 30, 17. It's going to be cool in here, but that's fine. It still needs to be a bit warmer in here. I need to need to get another heater or two. We've got components. We have got metal. I will build another heater now, actually. Let's just do that before I forget. Um, but yeah, we are cooking on gas right now. So we've got to start the perimeter up. I want to get a perimeter around here. This is a nice chunky, obviously, perimeter to the west, but we need to make it nice and sort of surroundy. Haven't forgotten about this this bit here. The heat from there is going to be useful. Um, but I think we're quite well established with just this one at the moment. This one's a little bit far away, but yeah, we're looking good. So uh, anyway, onwards. See, I always knew Hicklin was a bit of a boss. We've been taking people out of the Crypto Sleep caskets now, um, and when they come out, they come out and they fall to the ground and have to be rescued. Put them in hospital, they're getting up really quickly. Hypothermia drops off extremely fast if you're in a nice warm environment. Hicklin, no, I'm walking out. <laughs> what? How did you manage that? He's got serious hypothermia and crib sleep sickness, but it's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm walking it. <laughs> so he's walking back inside. Fair play, Hicklin, fair play. We've got your, your massive hammer here somewhere waiting for you. Uh, we've got a solar flare, of course, because, um, yeah, why not? So it's getting, getting cold inside. Um, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It'll pass. So uh, we are gathered here today to see the marriage of Hicklin and Viana. We decided to get married in a, quite a, a dark corner of the base because these guys just love each other so much. You don't need light to be in love, basically, I think is the, the moral of this story. And uh, yeah, everyone's chuffed a bit. Um, Viana and Hicklin decided to get married because you never know what's going to happen, <laughs> frankly. So we're going to give them their very own bed, I think, uh, which would be very nice. So uh, Viana, I think they're the only, the only couple now. A couple other divorcees are looking on in uh, <laughs> in terror. Huh. All right. So anyway, we're done. The, the uh, ship has been surrounded. We've got about 20 days left of food, so the yak's going to have to go. We're going to start slaughtering. And we're going to double wall as much as we can. Not so much for the heat, because we're actually okay in here. But um, in fact, the it's actually quite hot in here. I don't think having a separate hospital is actually going to work, so I am going to deconstruct that door because it is pretty hot. We'll just have that as just an offshoot. It won't be a separate hospital, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so the axe have got to go. We've got to make some food. We're going to double wall as much as we can around here, and then we're going to push the button because food is not on our side. Uh, we don't have any kind of food income. Uh, apart from the yaks that we brought with us, we've got some food in here. That's 63 meals, that, so that will help. That's uh, one day, just over just over a day's worth. It's not a lot. Got lots of mouths to feed. I think, do you know, looking at it, I should have, got, I should have put everyone back in crypto sleep for a bit longer. I might do that, actually. Yeah. There's a lot of mouths to feed. How many mouths have I got? I don't even know how many people I've got. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 25. So it's 50 meals a day are being consumed. So we've got uh, that four days. That's oh, one day and a bit. That's five days. Oh, wow. I've actually got less meals than I thought I did. Hmm. That's a problem. I might put back people back in crypto sleep because they've got out and they're all cool. I might just put them back in crypto sleep for now. I think, although many hands do make very light work, don't they? <laughs> I haven't really set up any defenses either, so this is going to be quite rough and ready in terms of defense. I need to look at this in a little bit more detail. Yeah, we're pretty much up against it. This, uh, These yellow items here is where I can grow potatoes. So it's basically soil, as we can see bottom left hand corner, soil that has got bad fertilization. So good for potatoes, not good for much else. Setting it up with sunlamp and all the rest of it is going to be a massive pain in the backside. Um, keeping it heat is going to be a pain in the backside. So I am going to just have to push the button on this and um, we just have to go. With the yaks that we're going to slaughter and turn into food, I think we may stand a chance. But it's looking quite scary, frankly. So yeah, I'm going to get everyone armed and we are going to build a couple of choke points. And then we are just going to have to suck it up and deal with it, basically. So uh, yeah, let's go. 
So interestingly enough, it's been this long um, until anybody's actually attacked our old base. And uh, Nikita's crocodiles have happened by. I wonder what they're going to do to it. I'd be interested to see. Are they gonna, oh, straight in. Yep, lovely. Left the doors open. Beautiful. They're going to smack up the, uh, the power conduit. Lovely. What are you smacking up? You're smacking up the orbital trade beacon. That's annoying. I should have taken that with me, really. Oh, I left the telescope. Can't believe that. That's annoying. Loads of stuff left behind. Just had to travel light. Anyway, so Nikita's crocodiles are doing their thing. And let's just set fire to kind of. I mean, it's all quite. Uh, I guess there's some wood here. It's mostly fire breaks. All over broken. Fire broken. Fire breaked. Too much stuff left behind. Couldn't take it with me. Anyway, that's fine. Boring, but fine. Right, so we are going to go in the morning. <clears throat> We've got double wall around most of the ship here. This is uh, going to be finished off in the morning. Um, yeah, we're good to go. Got a bunch, as much food as we can get now. We're not going to get any more food than this. Everything's been slaughtered. We've taken the, the yak bodies off the off the sea ice here and we are pretty much good to go are we ready no but i like to have better defenses yes i'm just gonna have to choke point defense a lot of the time probably here and um, i'm gonna build a little wall there as i usually do some granite blocks would go down very well because they're gonna have to say kind of here here or so so they don't sit outside and fire in basically that's probably gonna work for me um yeah six in the morning i have to say Solar pinhole, absolutely fantastic. One of the best skills at pretty much any level that you can get with Psycasts, solar pinhole. This has been a lifesaver up here because it's dark outside all of the time. Even in the morning, it's dark. This solar panel is not doing a great deal. I mean, I've added it, but I mean, it's what, six, seven in the morning? It doesn't get very light here. So yeah, anyway, we are gonna push the button now. Um, start ship. Okay, 15 days. God, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this at all. Alright, that's done. We push the button. You can hear it starting up there. Lovely. Oh, there's a fire apparently. Oh, look. Place is burning. Oh, they're wrecking it. Silly idiots. Honestly. Look, everything's wrecked. Didn't have much wood. So it's not going to st stretch too far. I mean, this will kind of stretch up to here, but. This will burn quite nicely. Anyway, we'll, we'll come back to it. Alright, so we push the button. Oh. <laughs> I'm really worried. But the need for food is really pushing us into this. So where's Viana? I need Viana to um, put a sun uh, solar pinhole in here. It really does save on power. Each each um, light takes a lot of power. Um, it's a it's a real godsend that we brought um, these energy cells with us because the ship only supplies a thousand. It doesn't go very far. I mean, think each heat is like 175, and that's when it's on high. Um, the uh, electric stove takes 350 just on its own. So I'm going to get some solar pinholes in here. I think such a good skill. Really, really is amazing. Um, I think we're okay. Uh, have a, I think it does add a reasonable amount of heat. Let's stick a couple in. Um, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to stick one in here as well, and right, so everything's much nicer when it's light, isn't there? Alright, Viana, thanks very much, you can go. Cool. Alright, that's all double skinned. Um, we're going to double skin the... got more granite blocks to double skin. As long as it's around a ship, I'm not overly fussed. Ship's the thing we need to protect at all costs. So... The rest of it I'm not worried about. The temperature is fine. It's one minus 24. It has got considerably warmer since we got here. Nine colon five colonists idle. Okay. Cooking as fast as we can. Stone cutting as fast as we can. I'm uh, probably going to bring the stone cutting range in a little bit to just outside the door so they don't wander too far. All right. Pen not enclosed. No, it's not. That's on the other map. Fine. Whatever. Okay, so we've got um, 437 meals. That's just under 10 days. But we've got meats to process. Oh, hang on. Quest active. No. Thanks, but no. Roof collapse. Oh dear, that's the other place. It's all burning nicely. Well, chops. Oh, we're up. We've got a raid. The Keats Crocodiles. And it's... Taruskus's wife. <laughs> And Tros's father, oh dear. Jump to location. There's quite a few of them, isn't there? 33. Alright. Are they um, suitably well attired? Yeah, they seem to be all in... Well, apart from you, you're in cloth tribal wear. Yeah. 
It's not that cold at the moment, so it's all good. That's an awful lot of them. What have they got? A range of this and that. Oh, God, he's got a trip. He's got a ugh, doomsday rocket launcher. That's going to make a mess, isn't it? Do we know which one that is? It is 33, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, welcome. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I've got so little defences here. Uh, they come at... See, see what I mean about the light? It's 12 lunchtime, and it's completely dark. This solar panel's a massive waste of time, basically, as is that one. Didn't spot that before I built them. That's annoying. All right, let's get them deconstructed. That's just in the way. I'll try and build a wind turbine instead. All right, everybody, let's go. I need you to go up to here. Let's get these doors open. Freckles can actually open them up. So these guys know where they need to go. Okay, cool. Uh, I need to rearrange. No, I don't need to rearrange. It's all in the same order. Excellent. So all of the shooties can go at the back. And all of the stabs. Oops. No, anyway. Can go at the back. And all of the stabs can go at the front. Are they attacking straight away? Please tell me they're attacking straight away. Did I misunderstand that? So they want to besiege. Oh, it's mortars. Ah, oh, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, that's uh, fine. Okay. Now, we never brought any mortars with us. So we have to go out and get them. Now, do they have any snipers? They do. At least one. Okay. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the same as we did with the Empire. Let's just go, let's go out and get them. Let's do it. Let's go. Not gonna muck about with these chumps. They need to die fast. Absolutely fast. I'm gonna invisibilize um, somebody with berserk pulse. Get them to come around a corner, pulse them, and then they'll be in a world of hurt. Alright. Now, let's not forget. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> I, like, like I did, I need to build a comms console because I can call for help, of course. What's this? 120 steel and four components. Okay, that I can afford. The problem is, is everything that we build eats into the amount of power we have. And I need to build more power and more batteries. So let me just queue that up. All right, good. Because I am going to need to call for help at some point. Um, I've, got, I've, got some, I've got four allies who can send people. These guys can uh, drop pod in, these guys can't, so, yeah, anyway. Alright. Here come... I can't allow this to happen, basically. They cannot mortar the ship under any circumstances. We have to trick, we have to trick them into attacking us. Alright, so these guys can come around to here. What? Oh! <laughs> these guys, I was about to say, these guys didn't do anything. Okie dokie then. So we are going to get somebody who can be invisible. Alright, so Yumi. Where is Yumi? Yumi. Yumi's got Berserk Pulse. So Yumi, front and centre please. Oh, oh, Yumi's extremely slow as well. Okay, that's that's not so great. Hmm. Alright, uh, back in a sec. Right, I just checked. It's Yumi, Squirt and Scurabria have the Berserk Pulse. So actually Squirt's perfect because Squirt's wearing jump packs and he's got invisibility. Absolutely it doesn't get much more perfect than that. So Squirt is going to cast invisibility on himself. He's going to come here. He's going to jump in. He's going to cast... No, he's not because we did this before and I don't have enough. Hmm, 65. He needs to call... Oh, that's so frustrating. That is so frustrating. I really must focus on not mucking it up next time. <laughs> hmm. It was the invisibility that was a problem, wasn't it? So he needs to get it down to... Um, well, that's not... 15. Okay. All right. Who else has... Okay, so what we're going to do... Let's do it the old-fashioned way. Zekus. Zekus has got the range. Uh, who else has got... Um, snipers here. I'm not seeing it. Now he's got sniping. Not good for cover though. Huh. Let me see. What can we use as cover over here? 
Maybe I'll forget the cover squirt. What can you do while you're here? Pretty much nothing. Right, never mind. Come back again. Oh. Ah. Is that here? No, that's that's here. Is my base burnt down? No. Alright, so we got Marulo Nation. How exciting. They're attacking straight. Do these guys get on with each other? Hmm. Marulo Nation. Do they get on with Nikita's crocodiles? No, they certainly do not. Alright. So Marulo attacking straight away. There's 42 of them. Right. Uh, Lorenzo. Okay. I wonder if I can get Lorenzo to be to lure them away. I want these guys to meet. Let them do the fighting for me. Right, Squirt comes in. Um, we are going to get... Scarabrea. Scarabrea. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Scarabrea is going to skip himself in. Berserk Pulse and skip himself back out again. Skip to here. Berserk pulse here. And then skip himself back out again. See? Style points. Points for style. <laughs> that's that's too good. Right, Zika's took a hit, mate. Oh wow. Okay. Alright. Okay, we got we got a few. That's cool. Um these got Within range of the assault rifle. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm not playing with that. That's, that's absolutely fine. May move, move, may move, 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 move. Okay, these guys are sort of the, the colony. Okay, so we need to get Scarabrea. Just thinking out loud, this is not good at all. If I can get, as I said, if I can get Lorenzo to kind of draw them in. That would be really helpful. I want to try and get these two guys to meet. I might just fight them. At least not going to mortar my base now, that's the main thing. I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to pull everybody back. I really want them to meet. I don't know if I'm going to be fast enough, if I'm being honest. a lot of firepower. 28 plus. 28, yeah. Okay, the Doomsday is down though. That's super helpful. I'll have to split my guys in two. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Very tricky. I can't outrun them. This is the problem. Especially with Zika's and May have been smacked up a little bit. May's got jump jet. Zika's doesn't, but we can skip Zika's. Yeah, okay. I might... I might skip... Ah, I don't know what to do. This is so tricky. It could... Whatever I decide to do is going to be a problem. It's the faster guys at the front, but they've got cover all over the place. They could sort of settle in here and then just turns into a sort of stand-up fight, doesn't it? I should. I, I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with my instincts. This is what this is what we do. I'm going to put everybody. Wait a minute. Uh, sniper, sniper, and assault rifle, assault rifle. I can go here. Everybody else is going to go up. Scarabrea. He's a little bit short of another Berserk Pulse. Cool. Insanity Lance. Yeah, I might save that for mechs. I think, we, I think we're okay here. We can stick down a... Right, who's got uh, Skip Shield? Porcupine, Squirt, and Diocus. Okay, Diocus. Stick a Skip Shield down. That could be cool. That kind of protects us a little bit. Okay, beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. So that protects us, and in the meanwhile, all our smacky doodars can uh, start smacking. Scarborough, Berserk Pulse. Actually, we do humans to do a Berserk Pulse back here. Squirt, get evolved. Cobra needs to come to the front. How's Marulo doing? They're still creeping in. Fortunately, it's quite slow progress on the map, so it's, it's a good thing. Cobra needs to come to the front. Dokus needs to come to the front. Squirt needs to step up. Who's Tereska's attacking? Pinky. Ezra's target's down. Everybody in the bubble is fine, so... Squirt is getting stuck in. Alright, now, these guys, I think they need to be down here a little bit more. Freckles in a good spot. Zika can come to here. May can move up a little bit, just so we're going around the skip shield. I appreciate it's kind of stopping us a little bit as well. Hicklin, let's get Hicklin stuck in. Attack Sergio. Squirt is on. Thank you. He's down. He's down. Ezra. No, nope, Ezra's still attacking Sergio. That's fine. Diocus. Squirt. Hicklin. That's the other map. Marulo still coming in hot. Coming in hot. Lorenzo. Oh, they come around the back. Cheeky. Right, this is an absolute mess now. Okay. Now gotta get stuck right in. Get stuck in stuck right in. This is quite a quite difficult to see what's going on. Right, Comninos, Yumi, Viana shouldn't really be there. Um Porcupine. Berserk. You beautiful. Um, Orc. Now, he's got, he's got Vertigo Pulse. That's really effective. Porcupine, Cobra, Ezra. Uh, Porcupine, Cobra, and Ezra. Cobra, Vertigo Pulse. Yeah. Start puking. You know you want to. Right, you three can attack and Ezra. And attack Hunter. In fact, it's spread up. You're attacking you. You're attacking you. You're attacking you. Uh, Cobra. These guys are going to be split up and... Oh, nasty. <sighs> okay. Mate's going to go there. Uh, Freckles. <sighs> Freckles going to go there. Okay, we need, um, need some melee troops over here, don't we? Anybody here can jump. Okay. Right, how are we doing here? Are these guys... Um, Many attacking steel wall. I oh, think they're gonna punch straight through, aren't they? Oh god. This is bad. This is bad. We have to make these guys give up and go really soon now. Right, Comninos. These melee. No, that's a lot of firepower. We just gotta get stuck in with these guys. They they have to die. Right. Yumi get stuck in. Flanker. Um get stuck in. Come on. Did somebody die? Why oh, this Tros is upset? Low lumpy. They're fleeing. Is that this? Brilliant. Right, everybody get back. We need to go. Let's go. Disengage. Disengage everybody. We need to get out of here. Right. They're not taking the Lorenzo bait. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, Lorenzo, get inside. What? Look. What Lorenzo's going to do is we're going to try and do a choke point defence. Lorenzo, you need to jump. So wherever they're going to steal wall, it could be anywhere along here. So we're going to get into this doorway. These guys are coming back as fast as they can. Ezra. Ezra, come on Ezra, you know you can do it. He's not busy vomiting. No, I didn't tell you to stop. Keep going. Oh, he's coming in here. Okay. Lorenzo, you come to here. 
already. They're just smacking that. That's fine. I don't have to keep that bit cold, so it's, it's no worries. Ezra, are you moving? Oh, are you moving now? Okay. Lorenzo's in. So, who's the more dangerous person here? Melee 10. Oh, good God. This could be nasty. Two on one. This is really not good. We are boiling back. Um, we haven't got any kind of mass skip ability, have we? All right, who's got skip? Orc, Scarabria, Kalisti. Orc. He's got a lot of good stuff. Let's skip Orc. Let's get in here. Got a doorway there. I thought I'd see that for now. Orc needs to get in. Scarabria can skip himself. Get everyone, in fact, into here. Come on, Lorenzo, you can do this. He's going to go down hard, isn't he? Set him on fire. Set him on fire or something, at least. Come on, Lorenzo, you can do this. Oh, three on one, this is bad. And they're in with all our food as well. That is not acceptable. Now, let me think about this. We don't have any kind of mass jump. Fast skip won't work. That's chaos skip, but that's useless. It's slow is snow is so slow to get through. Yeah, he's down, isn't he? Did all right. Nothing bleeding though. Fair play to you, sir. Attacking steel wall. All right, as long as they're obsessed with the walls, that's fine. That's fine. Hmm. I'm wondering if we can get cannibal. Do some cannibal. That's meat, isn't it? I mean. Oh, we get a package of animals. We'll take those as well. All right, well, we're at time. I'm going to leave it there. This is just the first of two attacks. They had to happen at exactly the same time on opposite sides of the map, didn't they? Thank, thanks for that, everybody. So they're just smashing our walls up, and that's I'm kind of all right with that. I can replace walls. It's this stuff I can't replace. Oh, no, you know what's going to happen now, don't you? These packages... Um, oh, no, the simple meals are all gone. That's what I was concerned that they would start to deteriorate again, but um, all the ones that are deteriorating are in here anyway. Well, they've been eaten. <sighs> thank thank heavens that it's slow progress across the ice here. 42 of them. Darn. All right, well, that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We're going to get back in due course. I wish we had some kind of mass teleport option, but we don't. Such is life. All right. How many did we kill, by the way? 19. That's not bad. These guys have pretty much killed themselves. I'm having that. Doomsday rocket launcher. Very, very useful. All right, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We've certainly gone from well, where we were at the start of the episode to quite a long way down the track here. And the button's been pushed. So how much, how much time do we have left? <laughs> where is it? It's even shown over here. I thought it is. Uh, where's the where's the do doofer? Launch report. Cannot launch. Not ready yet. Oh, is it this that shows us? Oh, there you go. 14, uh, only 14 days. Okay, fair enough. Right, there we go. I hope you all have a great weekend. I hope you can join me for my stream on Sunday, which is going on as usual, half past eight. And that's half past eight BST. That's GMT and UTC plus one. If you can, that'd be great. We're carrying on with the ide ideology run um, in the dense, thick swamp that I'm in. Um, so if you can join, that'd be great. If not, I'll catch you again for the next episode on Tuesday, where we move forward and try and save our base from Marulo Nation. Take care of yourself. This is Bug. Pulling the plug.